Hey, what's up? It's Christian, and I'm here today to show you a technique using loops as a way to call up samples quickly with slip mode on the CDJ2000 Nexus. It's a really cool way of taking one segment of a track that you can actually use as a sample on the same deck later in the track. It's a little bit confusing to just describe it though, so let me go ahead and show you what I mean. To be able to use this technique effectively, you have to understand two features on the deck. Uh, the first of which being the reloop exit feature, uh, and the second one being the slip feature. Reloop basically instantly jumps you back to the last loop that you were playing. To show you what this means, let's go back to the very beginning of the track and set a loop. So we'll go ahead and set a four beat loop. Now since we're in the loop, we can get out of it as we normally would by hitting the reloop exit button. And even though our track is playing, that last loop that we were just at is saved in the deck's memory. This means that even at the very end of the track, we can instantly jump back to that loop that we set at the very beginning of the track. The real magic of this technique comes with the use of slip mode as well. So what I'm going to do is I am going to seek to an area of the track that I want to use as my vocal loop sample. And I'm going to go ahead and set a one beat loop at that point. Keep in mind that once you find a vocal loop that you like of a track that you maybe play out a lot, you can actually store that loop to memory and then you'll be able to instantly call that loop back without having to search for it and uh, waste more time than you need to. Now since I've stored it to memory, I can just seek to it using the call button and we'll see that our loop buttons will begin to flash to indicate that we are actually on a memory loop. And now once we turn slip mode on, we can actually start playing the track and jump back to this loop anytime we want using the reloop exit button. And then we can jump out of the loop whenever we want and resume exactly where the track was playing before we even touched reloop. And if you want to get super advanced with this technique, you can actually adjust the out size of the loop while you are in the reloop. This means you can shorten the loop that you had saved from maybe a one bar or a one beat loop all the way down to one sixteenth or even a single frame stutter, which can be used in all sorts of creative ways. Hey, thanks so much for watching my video. If you found it useful, make sure to like, favorite, and subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this. And remember, as always, if you have a special request for a video, make sure to leave your comments down below or send me a message and I'll be sure to get around to them as soon as possible. Until next time, thanks so much for watching and remember, practice makes perfect.